yes, Future has made me cry before. I don't know if you write in a comment talking about LMAO, please delete it. It's really not that serious. Like coding crazy was crazy. I got this video uh, from, from Mojave. I'm literally just stealing it from him because he's into me for 40,000 deep and we will collect. Basically, I just want to know what songs make y'all emotional. What gets your tear ducts wet? Have you ever cried to a Drake song? I've, I've cried to uh, Trouble Man from Marvin Gaye. Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, Miss You. Obviously, Cody and Crazy. Yellow is the color of her eyes from Soccer Mommy made me tear up. I have a selection of songs like that make me emotional or teary-eyed or just make me fall apart. Now, some records I have selected because of a memory that I have with a particular individual. Some records I have because they're just so beautiful and the scenery that the music paints in my mind is just something that is almost otherworldly or a world that I would like to be a part of or be in and I'm crying because I can't be there. At the end of the day, I want to know what makes you cry. You know, what makes you sad? What makes you emotional? Happy tears, sad tears, whatever the case might be. But all of these songs have made me cry. I did a stream, twitch.tv slash Sean C. And someone asked me if a song has ever made me cry before. And my response. Cody ain't crazy. <laughs> But look, I know it sound kind of crazy. I know it sound kind of crazy. Why would you ever cry to a future song? Is there something wrong with me? But what's wrong with you? It's such a sad song. It is. It's such a sad song. It's it's begging to OD. It's, it's drowning in your addictions. It's drowning in everything that takes away the pain temporarily and nothing that takes the pain away is good for you we just noted and in 2014 i was going through a very painful experience the only reason i even know how to spell codeine is because of future <laughs> these videos bro i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna be caught you're not gonna get me you know this song applies to a character in a movie, but how passionately Marvin Gaye sings this song. It reminds me of every sad thing that ever happened to me in my entire life. Every friend I know who's died. This is a terrible song. I mean, it's great, but it's terrible. Hey, you thought I was feeling you? No, nigga, nigga eat it, he eat it for lunch. lunch. Bitch, I'm a betty, I get what I want. Like, maybe that one don't make me cry. It kind of grew on me, though. I can't lie. It kind of grew on Prom King from Saba. I don't want to talk about it. If I play it right now, I will cry. And I'm about to stream in a second. So, like, I don't want to do it. I just, I. Moon from Kanye, Kid Cudi, and Don Tolliver. I cannot explain to you how Don Tolliver tapped into what I could only describe as otherworldly angelic vocals for this track. Because it is so beautiful, serene. It is so peaceful. It is otherworldly. It's supernatural almost in its tranquility. It's a gorgeous colorful but soft and subtle piece is so great this is his best feature like i used to think it was when i got introduced to his music uh, off the travis scott astral world album i can't say but this one right here bro it it does it it does it he's he's beautiful he really is why did he do that? Yo, pre-racist Justin Bieber was a force to be reckoned with. Oh my fucking goodness. Before this nigga turned into a complete clown, bro, he was spitting the vocals, bro. I was ready to call him black. I was. Now you're probably wondering, what, what the fuck was you crying about to this song? It was Thugger. I know you think I'm lying, I'm not. I actually teared up to this song. And it's only because of Young Thug. Like when he was spitting about, like, I need to skeet. That that's what that's what got me. Yeah, yeah. Every time I try to stick it in all the way, baby girl, be like, hey, 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 hey. God, he's so real. He's so real for that. He's so real. For now, obviously, as I'm talking to you about the songs that like have made me tear up, get emotional, or cry before, I'm not making a you know, you know like a like a like trying to make an argument that these are the greatest songs of all time. I'm not saying that, but I just randomly, for almost no reason, just start busting out crying. I don't know why I was like that at the time when I listened to some of these songs. It just happened. And don't act like I'm weird for that because I know y'all got plenty of shit that y'all cry to that makes absolutely no fucking sense whatsoever. Some of y'all cry to Cardi. Some of y'all cry to to nikki some of y'all cry to yeet 
And if you cry in the yeet, bro, there's no hope for you. Some of y'all cry to do a fucking Leapa, Brock Hampton. Like, I know you niggas exist, bro. You can't hide in the comments. I know it's you. It's you. I'm you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I miss you, miss you. I need to stop playing. I need to stop playing with these because, like, I might really drop a tear on the, on the, on the tube right now. And I don't want to do that because that wasn't the intention. I was just trying to answer a question. You know what else I've been listening to recently that's been making me emotional? I won't say it's made me cry. I'm not a bitch after all, but it's ha it has made me emotional. Um, it's Tim's. You know how much I love Tim's. And I hadn't heard Higher before it was sampled off of the new Future song with Drake. So um, I felt like I knew what it was, but I didn't. And I didn't listen to Higher. And then when I listened to it, I was like, Jesus Christ, this is such a great record, bro. And her, her vocals are like the sun. Tim's, if you're watching this, please, I want to marry you. I won't tell anyone. You can just act like I'm not there. I'll be hidden away in like a stash house in the UK or wherever the fuck you're from. Tell me why you're crying, I can't even she knows, she knew. What I said you cry or what you trying to get me? Let me know the way for you. Oh my god. Bro. I you know I like records from Donny Hathaway, uh records where Celine Dion's covering Ave Maria. You know what I'm saying? That's also my shit. I said before, if you don't have a song that's made you cry, you're just not normal and you're a loser, and you're a weirdo. Um, you don't have any friends, no social life. Your mom and your pops don't love you. Your grandparents don't fuck with you. And they supposed to like kind of by default because your parents like fault because if your parent and they supposed to kind of by default because if your parents don't really, you know what I'm saying, do what they supposed to do. Grandma's supposed to step in at the very least. She don't even fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying like if you don't have this experience and there's something wrong, bro, you might need to reevaluate or start over. If you believe in reincarnation and some shit like start over, bro, just this not the one this not the right period for you. And I can't believe you're hurting me. I met your girl with a different. I wish I can go back to when Keisha Cole was popular, so that I, just so that I could make sure niggas appreciated her when she was at her highest, when she was at her plateau, when she was at her peak. Because I don't feel like enough people appreciated her when she was at the top. They they didn't. She should have went way farther. Y'all know the last one I'm about to. You know what I'm saying? Her, her right there. You know what I'm saying? The big WH. One letter away from who? I'll tell you who. Whitney Houston. That's who. I'm not crying, bro. Something just got in my eye. Enough about me. I want to hear what songs y'all are crying to because I don't think your cry list is fucking with mine. What? I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, brother of mine. Different. I heard so many yes. nights. Yes, this one. This the one. Thank God I found it. 